you know, obviously it's my senior year um, coming into it, you know, being, you know, that third year starting quarterback, trying to, you know, take these guys that, you know, the, the upperclassmen and kind of get them going to try and get that fourth consecutive championship. Uh, you know, with all the, the things happening in the offseason last year, with getting a new head coach, uh, you know, with doing all the recruiting, you know, not really knowing where we're headed next year. Just kind of, you know, trying to gather the boys and trying to get us, you know, more together. Because, you know, like we were telling them, you can't really control, you know, who comes and who coaches us, but we can control ourselves. Um, so I think that really helped, you know, coming in, you know, to this season, we all, you know, had this chip on our shoulder, like, you know, we're the, we're the three-time conference champs, you know, we're, or the two-time, we want to make it the third, um, well, fourth in a row for us outright. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, just kind of coming in with that chip on our shoulder, like, yeah, we're the team to beat. Um, they got to beat us, you know, and, you know, they got to come play their best football. And we just, you know, every single day came out, worked hard, no matter who we were playing, you know, kind of took each game one step at a time, you know, ultimately trying to get to this point where we are at 10-0. Uh, but we, could, we couldn't, you know, look forward, you know, before getting that first W and then that second, third, fourth. So I think, you know, the guys really kind of stepped up this year and, and accepted their roles, uh, whether it was on scout team, whether it was, you know, starting all starting defense, uh, just really buying into Coach Rambler's philosophies and, you know, his, his schemes and, you know, just kind of taking things day by day. Well, you know, coming into these conference championship games, you try not to really change much. Uh, you don't want to treat it as if, you know, it's the biggest game of the year. I mean, obviously we knew, like, you know, this was it. You know, this was the, the championship game. But you kind of, you got to go in there just treating it like any other game because you start, you know, putting all this stuff, you start adding all this pressure and all that stuff. It just kind of, you know, takes people out of their game. So, you know, I really didn't, you know, um, prepare for this game much different than anyone else. Uh, you know, I you know watch film about the on these guys a lot. Uh, just got in my playbook, studied the schemes that we were going to be doing for that game plan, uh, and just you know going to the you know quarterback meetings with my questions and making sure that all the stuff that I need clarified is cleared up, and just going into this game with a clear mind, knowing you know it's all you know it's all or nothing. This you know this could be my last game, so I just tried to play each play like it was my last, and you know we had guys step up that game. You know, offensive line did a phenomenal job giving me time. Wide receivers were catching everything. Running backs were holding on to the ball. So, you know, all things considered, you know, we, we took care of business like we should. And, you know, we're, 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 we are where we are now. And hopefully we can carry this momentum into the next game. We know that they're a really good football team. They're probably going to be the best team that we've played all year. But not probably. They are going to be the best team we've played all year. Their defense is, you know, sound. They have a lot of, you know, they have a key defense. They read things and, you know, they react to them. Um, their defensive backs are disciplined. Uh, they're not going to, you know, give me a lot to, to look at, but they are going to be disciplined. They are going to have tight windows. I'm going to have to make throws on time. Offense is just going to have to be cooking on all cylinders. Um, I expect to have us, you know, some big momentum shifts on special teams. I think we, we have really good special teams units this year. Better than you know most years I've been here. A uh, lot more emphasis on that this year, given that it is a third of the game. So I think that is you know, and a lot of people could, would agree with me where we've kind of separated ourselves from teams this year. So I really hope to have a big momentum shift on special teams, and then you know defense coming out getting stops, you know making them punt the ball, give us you know some some time on offense, and I think you know just. On the offensive side, just kind of sustaining drives. You know, obviously we want to score every single drive, but you know, if we can go ahead, get two, three first downs, and then you know, take some time off the clock and give our defense a rest. I think you know, the later we take this game, the better we are. You know, we're in great condition. You know, we we condition all the time. We lift three times a week. You know, we get after it. So I think you know, the later this game goes, the better it is in our favor. So. You know, if offense is cooking on all cylinders, we get a big special teams play and defense can, you know, hold them to a few three and outs, I think we'll be just fine. Coach Rambler came in, you know, without much time. He started talking to me about, okay, tell me five to ten plays that you've had in the past that you love. You know, tell me, tell me what you were really good at with, the, with these guys, with this offense, you know, from last year. 
and tell me, you know, what, what we can do next year to kind of build around that. And so, you know, I told him, you know, I like doing rollout passes and stuff like that. And he kind of built this offense around my strengths, if you will, um, you know, given that I'm not tall. Uh, moving the pocket is really important in our offense, and that showed. Uh, a lot of rollout stuff, getting outside the pocket where I can use my legs and throw. Um, you know, being a dual threat that, you know, I've become is just like the way that he kind of built this offense this year. So uh, he kind of took it, took me under his wing and kind of built the offense around, you know, what are our strengths and what can we do really well. And I think, you know, there's a lot less uh, technicality in our offense. Last year we did a lot of these shifts, a lot of motions, a lot of confusing defenses. This year we're kind of, you know what, we're going to line up. You're going to know it's coming, and we're just going to be really good at it. And if you think you can stop it, you can try. But, you know, even if, you know, our philosophy is if they think it's coming, I mean, they still got to stop it. So, you know, we come up to the line, and, you know, every opponent this year, you know, watch QB draw, watch speed option. And it's like, yeah, you can, you know, you can say watch speed option, watch QB draw, but you got to ultimately you have to stop it. So um, we just kind of come in with that attitude, like, you know, you got to stop us. We're gonna we're gonna give you what you we've shown you on film. We're not gonna change much. We're just gonna get better at we're, what we're doing. So, I think that was kind of our attitude, and that's still gonna be the way that you know we treat these guys. So, you know, I've been real fortunate. I came here. Uh, two of my best friends from high school, Paulson and Jake Billick, we all played football. Um, you know, it's. I wouldn't have wanted it any way else. I, you know, I came in freshman year. I didn't do a lot of talking. I just kind of seen what was going on, took a lot of things in. You know, by the end of camp, you know, Coach Carlson named me the third string. I was fortunate to be on the depth chart as a freshman. I kind of accepted my role. You know, scout team, they needed me down there. I was, you know, doing my thing down there, trying to get the defense better. Um, but whenever they needed me on offense, a few times, you know, theory, had class schedules and, you know, uh, Steven Jensen was the backup. He was at class. So, you know, sometimes as a freshman, I was the only quarterback there. So I got to step in with the ones. And I think that was really kind of my point in time when I was like, all right, you know, this next year, this is going to be my team. Like, you know, I want somebody to like, I want to outwork whoever I have to, you know, in the off season, I just, you know, busted my butt every single day and tried, you know, to put myself in the best position possible. And, you know, I've been fortunate, you know, since sophomore year to be able to lead these guys on field every single game. And I mean, I've, you know, I've tried to put ourselves in the best positions to win. Um, I can reflect on those three losses. You know, they, you know, they were tough ones. Um, you know, it was just, it's not fun losing, especially when, you know, you're used to winning. Coming from De La Salle, there's a winning tradition there. Um, so I really wanted to kind of continue that, you know, on here. And, you know, it's been a fun ride. I've been blessed with a great offensive line this year, you know, and past years. But this year especially, you know, with, you know, being a senior and just having the year that I've had so far and just having receivers that will go up and catch the ball, um, you know, just defense that's lights out every game. It's just, you know, it's just a really fun atmosphere to be a part of, and I'm just – so thankful to be a part of this team and I just hope, you know, to keep this thing going after next week. So